Hey guys. Alba, what's up? Our newest coach, Alba, is here. Oh my gosh, I'm looking a hot mess. What is up with this? Like, what is this? <laughs> All right. Hey, April, Jimena, Melly, what's up? Okay. okay. All right, my kids are still up. My husband is out. He had to go pick up some stuff, and he's still not back. So let's have a prayer that we could get through this um, without any chaos. I um, want to welcome you guys to our team call tonight. Um, I think last week uh, we had our, no, yeah, last Thursday we had our coach opportunity call. And we're going to continue doing that, guys, to give you guys the opportunity to invite your customers, to invite your friends, whoever. Um, we kind of stopped doing it as a team just because I was just going live on my Instagram and not really um, making it a team effort. Um, but I see that some of you did jump on board, you invited people, and so we are gonna continue that. Me and um, April are gonna spearhead um, the coach trainings. So, um, all right guys, lots of exciting things. How many of you got to go to Super Saturday? Jamie, okay, so Alba, oh I know, Alba just signed up and I was like, you should try to go, and I had sent you the link. I knew it was totally at like last minute. It was a surprise. It was surprising though. There's a lot of people. There was? Yes, there's a lot. Okay, good. So they do it every quarter. So the next one will be in January. Okay. And you'll be able to plan and go for that. But um but yeah, so I wanted to just start off. Um and each of us just share a little takeaway about our Super Saturday and just what your experience was, maybe a feeling that you felt leaving there. Um so yeah, I guess who wants to go first? April? Um, well, can y'all hear me? Yeah. Um, honestly, like ours was a hot mess. Um, but uh, Chris Downing like helped it a lot. But I just, <laughs> I guess my takeaway is, um, like I, I was really hoping that it would it'd be really good because I brought my husband with me and I was I had so much expectations and um, when I went there it, it was um, it was like a sloppy third cousin um, but <laughs> I'm still glad I went because I did uh, we still watched the um, the what's it called like the corporate video right right and and stuff like that so it was good to find out information and dates on uh, that kind of stuff and uh and it, of course it was good to hear from from chris too so. yeah he's real inspiring i'm telling you at ours i just kept thinking about you because you had your saturday ours was sunday and i'm like i'm so pissed that april like ours was amazing like we were crying we were like the guest speakers and i was just so like oh why couldn't april and her husband feel this because i know that feeling too that you want to like impress your husband like he finally came and then the event was like a hot mess that just makes me so upset um but i gotta tell you that our diesel nation like our upline coaches are amazing and what they do in miami is is so incredible and i was actually thinking what if like next year we plan like our retreat like a team retreat around super saturday and we would like that would be one of the events we go as a team and then we do other things like i thought i was like oh my gosh that way everyone can experience miami super saturday but um okay jamie how about you but sorry april i i know but i'm glad you went and hey not everyone's gonna tell me um so it was good to actually hear april say that because ours was um it was still good and there was definitely some emotions and stuff there but um i guess i kind of felt like it was going to be a little more pumped up and so um like we didn't even get to the workout and i think they totally could have got it in but um the girl that was um that planned the whole thing she was like trying to get home and watch football and it just felt like it was kind of cut short because 
She's like, I know everybody wants to get home and watch football. And I'm like, no, this is what I'm here for. Like I came here for this, like let's do our group workout, you know, but um, so a little bit of a disappointment with that, but it was still very good. A lot of information. Um, I think uh, one of the things that I heard that really stuck with me was um, um, somebody said that, you know, the, that this, like she was up talking and she's like, this is not my jam. Standing up in front of people is not, you know, who I was born. Like I wasn't just born this way. I created this. I worked really hard and, and, you know, practiced and that kind of stuck with me just to think like, because I'm not a girl that likes to take selfies. I don't like to, you know, talk to a huge audience, even just like right now kind of like freaks me out just a little bit, but it's good. And I know that I'm growing. And so it made me feel good to hear her say that, like, I wasn't just born this way. I created this, you know, so it's, it's a work in progress. For sure. For sure. Okay. Um, Mandy, can you talk? I know your son is there, but. Yeah, no, um, that was my first one. And, um, I think they expected a lot more people to show up. They're expecting like 300 people. Um, and it wasn't that many people, but I think it was good. Um, Chris was there, um, and they kind of tried to move everything along pretty quickly so that he could have time to talk and then do the workout and take pictures and stuff because um, he had to leave like pretty quick. Um, but I liked a lot of what he said. Like he talked about like having your purpose, um, not so much worrying about like money and stuff like that. Just keep your purpose, like keep in touch with your purpose. Um, and then one other girl talked about, um, I think her name was Corey, about like time management and how she makes sure, like she has a whole like calendar of like timed everything out, like literally hour by hour how she does things. And um, it was pretty cool. We heard a lot of people talk about, um, like I met a few people there. Um, I actually met somebody on our team, Arlene. Um, she came up to me and she was like, hey, are you Melly? And I was like, yes and she's like it's Arlene I was like oh hey and, like we talked we worked out together um and then um but it was fun I think um a little bit of the people that I think organized it were kind of not kind of sure of how it was gonna like go I guess but overall it was I mean I think for being my first time going and kind of experiencing something like this um it was real inspiring to hear everyone's stories and um how everybody you know but keeping, I guess, the main focus, I think, for them was, like, time management and consistency. Um, and that's kind of, like, what everybody was touching on. But it was, it was great. It was a good experience. And I'm, I, I loved it. I was, like, so pumped up when I came out of there. And everybody was so great. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was a good experience for me. Awesome. Um, no, that's awesome. I'm so happy that you went and you just, like, took that leap of faith. Um, okay, he may not just briefly, briefly tell us how it was. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I have to mute this because my kids are going psycho. Jimena, share a little bit about um, what your experience was. Okay. Can you hear me now? Hello, me escuchan? Lady, me escuchas? Hello. Sí, we hear you, we hear you. Okay, I had a little accident this morning with my laptop. I dropped the water on my laptop. So I was doing my workout. But yes, um, the, we are talking about the, Super Sunday, that was amazing, amazing. It was like a re-energize our souls. And you, it's, it's like, like I, I wrote a little post telling that um, it's like a little summit and we re revive, I don't know if it's, is that a word in English? But I just re-energize my soul to keep pushing myself to, to be brave in this path because um, it's not easy for, for the new ones. Maybe you can 
uh, expect like it will be easier than other kind of of activities to to you know to get more or extra money to house but um it's it's like a passion it's like a community of people that want to they want to give themselves to their why 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 do they why they are giving all this effort or this um i don't know how to that that's i'm sorry my english is like i just get confused with the words but uh, i want to express that uh i think i i'm confirming that i'm in the right path in the right way that we can help more people it's just <coughs> i'm telling that it's not easy because we have to just organize the time and and that would be easier so um this community will help you for in every single path for me at the beginning was kind of hard because the the language maybe or some kind of little words that i couldn't understand and then i mis 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 misunderstood all, the whole thing and then i was again trying to understand and trying to what, what she was doing what she was trying to say or i didn't even that understand what we, what was success club or this kind of point and it was like too much information for me and then i say okay i'm gonna start for myself and then as soon as i just i didn't even scroll down all the other people because that was too much information so i say okay let's start for the beginning for myself and then reading um personal development and it's like a path you have to be following the path and you will be fine um i think that yeah. was like reviving my, my yeah just reminding you why you do this and i right. think even me i've been a coach three years and i literally still feel like okay i'm just getting started in this so i know it's very easy to compare your chapter one to someone's chapter 10 but you got to just come in and pace yourself Okay, um, just we're running out of time. I know Diana was a new um, coach as well. She was there and I'm sure just in two seconds, just tell us how you loved it or really short. Thank you guys. Yeah, it was actually my first super Sunday and it was a, it was a great experience. I was able to meet Lily and, and other people from the team. Um, it was great. As I think Kimena covered, I think it was super excited to see a community that share the same vision. Um, I'm very excited about the business. I think that um, we're going to do great together and I hope that I can continue to grow because there's so much information that like Jimena said. There's a lot of, but the good thing about the company is that you have the support system and then you have the people that really care about you. So you can come into the business knowing zero and with the help of, of the, our coaches and other people, we, we can network together, we can learn from each other, and that's what I'm excited about. Um, you know, building those relationships with you guys and getting to know and learn from you because I do zero, know zero. <laughs> There's no competition, right? Yeah, it's exactly. Like, it's like hermandad. How do you say herman, hermandad? Yeah, like sisterhood, we're learning together, we're learning you know each other's techniques and strategies so this is for me i'm going through a learning path right now and you know i'm hoping for the best as well thank you okay wait did i mean yes okay um yes awesome guys so today i wanted everyone to share that just because i know i went to my first super saturday and i just had a a fire lit in me. I knew I was part of the right company. I knew I was just part of, I was in the right place. And I was like, I want to be around these women. I want to do this. And I still feel that three years in, I still feel that fire for this. Um, so today I wanted to go over just some kind of like frequently asked, you know, thoughts or questions that new coaches have. A lot of you are new here. Um, and then hopefully we'll have time to open it up. But I guess the first thing I want you new coaches to understand is that this really is a process. I know that you want to come in and just like already just have it all. And I think that's the hardest part about this business because we want it. You see the leaders above you, 
and they're having it all in your eyes and you're like, I want that already. And so it's so hard. I think that's the hardest part. At first I felt like I, ha I was running. I'm like, where am I running to? Hello, slow down, Lily. I felt like I had to like, like I was on a sprint and I'm like, no, this is more of a marathon. Like we take it easy. So I think when you find yourself feeling like desperate and like, I gotta learn this, like say, no, take a deep breath and be like, no, I don't. This is like, like the number one thing you have to focus on when you start off is you your transformation, your story, because there's no way that you're going to be able to share this passionately and genuinely unless you have been converted. I always compare this to like, to like church or like the gospel, just like you have to be converted first. If not, you're not, no one's going to feel your passion. No one's going to. So you are the very first project that you have to work on. You know, seeing Jamie, April, everyone here so far has gotten amazing results with our programs. It starts there. So the very first thing you do have to focus on is you getting your results because guys, your results, you are going to continue. I say you're going to continue to pimp out your pictures over and over. Like you getting those results, it's like the foundation to building your business. That's going to be your money maker. That is going to be your people, how people are going to believe you. So I know when I first started off, I made it my business. Like, I got to get results. Like that was my biggest thing. And I never understood coaches who come in and they just kind of tiptoe with the, with the programs and they don't like getting results needs to be your first thing. So before stressing out, like, Oh, who do I message? Who do I tell? No, get results, get results because it's going to speak greater than any script you can send anyone, any message. So getting results needs to be your very first priority in this business. Um, so aside from that, I want you guys to also know, like Diana said, you're not in this alone. Your very first challenge group, you get to run it with me, you guys. If you want to, one of the best things that I want to offer to you new, brand new coaches now um, is that you get a list of the people you want to message and tell them, hey, I get to invite three people to my coaches challenge group. Do it with me. And that makes it so much more easier than you feeling like you're this pro and you got to run this challenge group by yourself. You guys can announce your challenge groups and then tell your friends and people you're close, hey, I get to do this. Do it with me. Almost like, you know, oh, come join my cool group with my cool coach. Like you're just like making it seem like let's all do this together. And it, it takes the pressure off of you feeling like you're trying to convince or sell to anybody. So the, the process is quite repetitive and, and here's the thing guys, it's simple, but what, what I see coaches do is that they start off, they announce a challenge group and then that's it. They never do it again. And then they never announce, like we have to do this every single month. So every single month you're going to announce a challenge group every single month. And if you are not doing that, you're, you're missing out. You're missing out because that's what we do. We announce challenge groups every single month. So you brand new coaches, Alba, um, I don't know, Diana, if you have announced one, um, but the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to come out of the closet. You're going to tell everyone what you have done, what you have become. And if you haven't done your coming out posts, let me know. We have the link in our team website and it's actually like our team website on our Facebook page, you just click on the banner that says Team Forever Fit and the link to our team website is there. And there's an example of a coming out post. Um, and so after your come out post, you need to be daily sharing your journey as if it's a journal. Day one, this is how I felt. Day two, I feel amazing. Day three. And if you treat it that way, like kind of a journal entry, you're going to have something to talk about every single day. Okay. And I know that you're going to feel the temptation to be like, is this really important? Do people really care about my day three? I promise you just like a story. People want to know Ooh, day one, and maybe they'll see your post day four. Wait, let me see her day one, you know? So take people along on the journey with you and just be open about that. Don't come across preachy. Don't come across like you got it figured out. Share your struggles, share what you're going through. And that's how people are going to relate to you. I see a lot of coaches start off and they're just like, get your workouts in guys. Um, you know, they start preaching at people and you got to just be like, don't tell people, like share what's working for you and why you got your workout in and how it was a struggle or whatever. 
So every single month we announce challenge groups. We also have to find ways to share the business, guys. This is network marketing. And if you're not building a team, eventually in the beginning, you're, it's going to be retail sales for all of you. As you go sharing your journey and getting people interested, they are going to want to do the business. But you have to be planting those seeds from now. Jamie, as a new coach, two months in, has done an amazing job at that. She's already posting pictures of her on her laptop, right? April, couldn't you attest? She's already like showing people, this is what I do. And it's so important to start letting people know, wow, this is, I'm a coach. This is what I get to do. I'm messaging my friends. Like let people see you on your laptop, on your phone. So I recommend like right away from the beginning, guys, you don't have to wait till you're like making, uh, you know, a hundred dollars a week, $500 a week to do this. You, you can do this right now in your beginning stages, have your kids take a picture of you. Be like, take a picture of me on my phone. And it's just because this is social media. People need to see the visual. Okay. So you need to show people me writing a note, me on my laptop. I know that it feels kind of cheesy or maybe like ingenuine in the beginning. Cause you're like, this is a stage post, but trust me, as people are scrolling through, they're not thinking like that. They're not like, you know, even when you see people do a candid, you know, like they totally did that pose, like just looked off into the distance. Right. But you read the caption, you don't necessarily say, you know, you're not thinking like what a, you know, I don't know. Like you're, we're not thinking like that. You're getting the visuals. That's what Instagram is. So don't be afraid to do those kinds of posts. But, um, okay. So frequently asked questions. How often do I run a challenge group? Every single month. And we do have videos on our YouTube channel. Um, and there, the links, if you scroll through our team page, you can see a history of our, of our team calls. But basically, you, I like to run my months like the first two weeks. I give value. I'm sharing my journey. I'm sharing recipes. I'm showing up, showing people I'm there. And then I invite to my challenge group. So there is a pattern of how we do it every month. And um, as long as you're reaching out to people and you're being genuine about, you could do a free group about something that interests you, or you can do a paid challenge group. But again, I will help you. I'm going to be here to help you announce and run your first challenge group. Okay. Um, what else? What else? Time management. Um, April, I don't know. Do you want to talk a little bit about time management as a beginning coach and kind of like, any recommendations? A lot of people want to know how much time do I spend in my business? What can you shed some light on that? Uh, sure. And, and let me say this first. So when I first started off as a coach, I was actually, um, I was commuting to one job and uh, that was in a different town while we were trying to move and my husband was uh, finishing college. So I understand if you come into this business and you have a really tough um, work schedule so i just devoted my lunch time every day to that uh, i brought my own food anyways to work because i was trying to do good i was doing the 21 day six so i brought my food to work anyways i got a full hour so that was my power hour it didn't take me away from my job it didn't take me away from family time when i came home so i took that hour and i invited people i posted all that but i will say this I was a dummy because I didn't share the business opportunity. Um, I waited too long to do that. So if I can give you any advice, pretend, even if you, you already have confidence in all the products and that's why it's so much easier to, to share challenge packs, but you haven't experienced the business part, right? So that you're more hesitant about that because you really don't know, but you have to get over that hurdle. Because the more that you talk about it, the more that you share about it, the more confidence it will get. So it's just like you're breathing words of life into it. So don't be hesitant and just say, I'll just rely on the, you know, the compensation at the beginning and then we'll see how it goes. No. Start from day one talking about, you want to join me in this new business opportunity? Because when you're fresh, you can, you can plead ignorance off right off the bat. Like, use that to your advantage. You're like, I'm a dummy. You want to join me in this? Like, be ignorant. <laughs> that's okay. Um, so that's what I have to share about time management is use your lunch time. If you're like, I don't have enough time when I get home because I got to cook and 
see kids and all that stuff, use your lunch time for that. Yes. Wait. Yeah. You guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I love that April. Um, that's why I'm saying, and I try as new coaches come on, you know, because I've learned too as a leader and sometimes I'm like, well, they're not making money yet. So I, I don't want to bug them by telling them, you know, to talk about the business, I, but no, I'm like empowering right away. Like that's why I'm saying Jamie, she's been a coach for two months. Um, and she is already like follow her on social media and you could see, um, Maybe Jamie put your Instagram on, on the chat. Um, follow Jamie on social media because she's a new coach who's, who gets it. And guys, that's what I want for you. I want you to get it from the beginning. And so let's say talking about the business, it's scary because you haven't made a penny, right? So, but what are we doing right now? It's a Monday night and we are, who needs to be muted? It's a Monday night and we're together as women and we're like just talking and we're, we're talking about how to improve our businesses and our lives because that's what, you know, a lot of these calls are about. So the new friendships right now, Alba, Jennifer, Ashley, we got Liz here, Diana, like you guys, we're all like, you know, I consider April, I finally got to meet her and Summit, but like I consider her my friend, like she's somebody that I could, like she's, it, this isn't just like a pretend thing, like this is a true like boom we got a network of positive women that we can come to and say you know i feel crappy i'm having a crappy day i suck at this what can you tell me and like we help each other okay so um talk about the business early on the friendships the how it's taking you out of your comfort zone how you're reading more than you ever had and you can say like how would you love to be part of this community with me you know and that's how you can talk about it too if you look at when I talk about the business, I don't talk about my paychecks. I don't talk about how much I earned. I talk about the freedom. I talk about my dreams. I talk about, you know, working with purpose and why I love working with women, that kind of thing. So you can do that. Okay. I give you full permission to do it. Um, I also want you new coaches to know that there's not one way to do it. April kind of broke the mold in our team, guys, because she, like, if you want to talk about different marketing strategies, look at April. I mean, she was doing, like, comedy. She was, like, rubbing chocolate on her face, talking about, I know you ate all that chocolate. Like, she was, like, doing crazy things, and it was so incredible to watch like April, just go with it. There's not one right way. I think if we, we get in, in the coach network and then we start like, okay, what does she do? Copy, copy, copy. And I think it's important. Like we copy each other and get inspiration, but you still have to take a step back and be like, is this me? How can I make this me right now? You know, if you're not, uh, you know, a super selfie taking person like Jamie's not, but I just heard this call from um, Barbie, uh, Sagi's wife from Body Beast. She's like been a coach for 10 years. And she was talking about, well, she's not a natural smiler and she hates selfies too. And she's like, but I noticed like all of my posts were serious. And she's like, so someone gave me the challenge to start smiling. And she's like, it felt like that's not me. But she's like, but you know what? I tried it. And she's like, this month, my, like, my success club is out the roof. She's like, it's not because... She was like, clearly, I just needed to make some changes that were outside of my comfort zone. But you know why I did them? Because I want my business to grow. So I'm willing to do this. And so there's going to be things, guys, that you're going to do in the beginning that it's going to be scary. But ask yourself, like, do you want your business to grow? Then you have to, you know, step out of that comfort zone and do what you got to do. So, um, okay, so the challenge groups, talking about the business. Um, what was another one that, okay, let's talk really quick about like branding. We, we can do a whole call and actually me and my sister, we're going to do a, a team call sharing our branding and storytelling strategies with you guys. But basically guys, just so you understand how social media is working these days in 2017 is the storytellers will dominate on social media. And if you don't learn how to tell stories and how to tie in stories to your posts, it's, it's just like, that's the way you get sales online. That's the way you build connections. 
you have to be willing to open up. And I know for some of you that you're very private and you have, you know, you're like, I don't want to put my business out there. I'm not going to talk about a fight I had with my husband or that no one's asking you to put dirty laundry, but we can certainly talk about insecurities that we have. We can talk about, you know, I, I feel like the very thing that you're the most insecure about, if you open up and share that, you will find so much like therapy the day that you can actually open up and talk about something that you feel like, oh my gosh, no one would like accept me for this or people would think X, Y, Z. It's like the day you finally open up about that, um, you're going to relate to so many people. And so we have to learn how to weave in stories. Guys, I'm not a natural storyteller. Sometimes I can take like hours on the post. I'm like, Kenya, please post this. But what do I do? I go to other coaches. I'm like, okay, I know how she worded that. Okay, she went that route time. I was looking at the sunset and thought, okay, perfect. I'll start mine off like that. And that's how I get the inspiration, okay? So you don't have to be these creative storytellers, but you do have to um, get inspiration from other people and find ways to tell stories about your journey. So let me give you an example. You can either post a picture and say, got my workout in, feel great. Or you can say the same picture and be like, um, today was crazy. The, kid, the alarm clock went off late. I left my kid's lunchbox at home. We were late in the car line and I had all the odds stacked against me. But I was determined, no matter how crappy my morning started, to get my workout in. And here I am with my sweaty selfie showing up for you guys, letting you know that if I can do it, so can you. All right, guys, which one makes more of a connection? Got my workout in. Who cares? Nobody cares. Of course, you're going to have times that you're going to do a simple, like, feeling like a beast, and that's okay. You mix it, right? Because if, if you're always telling the story, it's like, okay, job. But you got to mix it, you know? The days that you really feel that story, the day that you left the homework, and you're like, oh, my gosh, I've got to share this story. That's the day that you do it. So... <clears throat> On our team website, you new coaches, again, if you go to the team page and you click on the banner, the team website has ideas for storytelling, for postings. Like just go and play around with it and just see what tools you can get that you can use for your coaching business right now. Okay, so um, usually whenever we turn it to like Q and A's, it turns quiet, but do you, does anyone have like a burning question? We have five minutes left. A burning question. I'm seeing Liz Facer. I've never seen you. Who's your coach? Oh, April. Okay. <laughs> April. Okay. Welcome, Liz. I'm so happy you're here. Is this your first team call? Uh, second. Second. Okay. Awesome. All right. So, guys, can you think of do you have a burning question? New coach, any burning questions? Okay, Jamie. All right, so this is actually a customer asked me this today and I really didn't know what to tell her. She said, is there a way that she can try like the different flavors of Shakeology without buying a whole bag of Shakeology or what, like, so she got cafe latte and she does not like it. Okay. And she really is, um, she's just drinking it even though she doesn't like it because she really wants to stick with her program. And, um, but she, wants to switch to something else, but I, I like, I really didn't know what to tell her. I told her I would okay. ask you. Have you given her a new recipe? Have you told her use frozen banana? Use like given her. Yeah. And, on how and she did. Yeah. And she did say that it was better when she added uh, almond milk and banana versus just shaking it with the water. So she did say it was better that way, but she, um, so now a couple more days has gone by and she's like, I just really don't like it. Okay. Have and, her, exchange it i mean i know it sucks and it will count negative towards you but you want her to be happy and she if she hates yeah. it that much so i would a give her say okay try these three recipes and for me honestly half a frozen banana i tell people use exactly the recipe because if you don't use enough ice or like it could make all the difference like not mm -hmm. enough ice a, a re regular versus a frozen banana it all makes a difference peanut butter always makes stuff taste good so um so I would do that if she absolutely hates it and can't save it, she could return it. It does have a money back guarantee. 
Mm -hmm. and she could switch flavors. It just sucks because she has to return it, they give her back her money, and then she has to repurchase it, which is- Yeah, and that's like what she was like, she's like, I don't wanna have to go without, you know? And I was like, okay. well, I'll see. Encourage her to finish the bag, give her those recipes, I'm telling you. I okay. It could make a difference. I think Stephanie was here. She hated her Shakeology at first. I gave her a few recipes and she's like, okay, I can do this. So okay. I could share some of mine already created ones, but. All right. So yeah. I'll try that first. Okay. All right. Thanks. Uh, I just wanted to add on to that, that uh, I've had that happen before. Like they didn't like the flavor. So what I would do it and same thing, um, wanted to keep going with her program and didn't want to stop in between. So she ordered her next flavor um, or she ordered a sample pack. You can order a sample pack. You can just go on the Team Deep Body website and get a sample thingy. Um, go ahead and order that now. And then whenever that comes in, she can exchange the other one. Does that make sense? So, she, so like she orders vanilla and then once vanilla comes in, then she returns um the cafe latte because it you can it you can go all the way to an empty bag um and get your money back yeah so. okay all right we got less than a minute left time always flies on these calls you guys i do wanna um i know you guys especially alba you just signed up you know liz you guys are all new here which is good um we got to get together again um i'm gonna add you to the coach training and um and then whatever we will get together again like within the next week we'll talk because we want to get you guys started right all right so thanks for joining me us <laughs> all right guys bye